What's up, College Station? I'm Grace Hollowell, and today I'm joined with a special guest, um, Sheriff Wayne Dickey from the Brazos Valley Veterans Memorial. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm doing well. Um, typically on What's Up, we have a city employee talking about different things going on in the city, um, but today we're here to talk about something um, important and special, the 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony um, that's taking place on September 11th. Um, so talk about, um, I know College Station kind of has a special connection to 9-11, um, so kind of give us a brief history of this event um, and what your involvement is. Well, so the Brazos uh, Valley Veterans Memorial um, is a nonprofit organization that uh, works to recognize veterans in our community, and so this is the group that uh, oversees the exhibits at Veterans Park. And as part of that, there one of the 14 exhibits out there is the War on Terror exhi exhibit. And it includes a um, piece of the World Trade Center, a life-size statue of a police officer, a firefighter, and a special operations soldier. And so it's part of our effort to uh, recognize veterans and to keep their memory alive. Yes, and the war on terror especially, at least for me, um, it's the first war that I remember watching on the news and growing up with and hearing about. Um, so it's a very um, unique piece that we have out there at Veterans Park because um, it, it, it definitely impacted us as a nation um, and it's still impacting us um, today. So with this remembrance ceremony, um, what what is to be expected or what's involved in the actual event? So we'll get together um, on the 11th at 530 to remember those that uh, gave their lives in service to our country. And um, the event will include um, um, presentations and comments, but we're really excited about our keynote speaker, uh, Chief Nim Kidd. Give us a little bit of background on him. Um, I'm new to the area, um, so I just learned about kind of what A&M and College Station's involvement was with 9-11. Nim Kidd is the chief of the Texas Department of Emergency Management, and so in his current role, he helps Texas respond to emergencies. But he's got a long history with our community as well. He is he was one of the original uh, members of Texas Task Force One uh, in 1997, and as a member of that team, he was sent to the World Trade Center and was the planning section chief following 9/11. Yes, a very um, difficult task, I'm sure, that he had to um, take on at a moment's notice, and um, something that we should remember and memorialize what not only we as a nation but our first responders went through as well. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I think is going to be unique about this event is that he's going to bring a perspective that we haven't heard before and he's going to talk about his first-hand accounts of being on site and I think it's going to be a, um, a great opportunity for our community to learn more about what went on that day. Yes, because, you, you know, you've watched all the documentaries, you've mm -hmm. seen the news, um, but yeah, having that firsthand account off definitely gives a different perspective on things. Um, so what, when is the event, what time, mm -hmm. um, and where in Veterans Park is it located? So the event will be held on September 11th at 5.30 at Veterans Park. The specific location, uh, weather permitting, is at the War on Terror site, which is right up front, closest to the parking lot. So it's easy access, and uh, it's a free event, and we encourage everybody in the community to come and participate and learn more about the park. Yes. Um, so talk a little bit about what um, the Brazos Valley Veterans Memorial, um, what else they do in the community apart from events like these? Another event that's coming up is, of course, the Veterans Day event. This year it's moved to November 12th because of uh, A&M football. Yes. <laughs> but um, nonetheless, uh, that's going to be a, a really good event, um, and we will invite the public out again to be a part of that. The Brazos Valley Veterans Memorial uh, organization is committed to remembering veterans, and so they're are 18 planned 
remembrances of different uh, wars and um, conflicts that have occurred and 14 of those are now there available at the park and so what we hope that is that when people come out for this event on September 11th they'll also take a few extra minutes and walk around through uh, the beautiful park and see those other um, memorials as well. Yes I have been out there once um, and before that I had only seen pictures but it really is something to see especially I'm sure we all know a veteran or have one in our family or maybe even ourselves are a veteran so it's very um, special to walk through there um, and think of the veterans that we know in our own lives. And that's another important part of the event on November 12th is that they'll be adding more than a hundred new names to the Wall of Honor of local Brazos Valley veterans that have served and so it's another way that we can recognize people that sacrificed for our freedom. Where can people find out more information if they have questions or want to know more about what you guys do or these events? Well the best place to get information is on our website and that's bvvm.org. Uh, all the, the events that we've talked about today are on the website. You can also get more information about kind of the history of the organization um, and other details. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me on and talk more about this. Yeah, you're welcome. And that's what's up.